Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing okay out there. I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice is a little worse for wear. Kind of bear with me here. Uh, if you have been enjoying my channel, please you know subscribe to it. Hit the little notification bell so you'll be uh, the first to know whenever I post a new video. I try to do them on a fairly regular basis. Uh, you know, if you do enjoy the video, please like it. You know, leave some comments down there uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you're interested in the subject matter that we're going to talk about today. And if you can't tell by my t-shirt, I'm talking about one of my all-time science fiction uh, franchises, The Transformers. Loved the show since I was a kid, liked all the movies. Uh, you know, there's good and bad, things like that, but we're going to cover that today. So, you know, as a kid, um, I've talked a lot about my past, and, you know, it wasn't always the easiest thing growing up. Uh, you know, parents got divorced when I was seven, and that was right about the time that the Transformers cartoon started coming out here in the States. Uh, you know, of course, it was originated in Japan, and, you know, the whole big long backstory on that, which you guys can look up, uh, I don't want to get into that, you know, because I'll be talking for an hour here about the history of it, but uh, basically, you know, right about that time, the early 80s, the cartoon came out, and, you know, the toys came out, and I remember my grandparents got me uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron for Christmas, and I was hooked. I mean, I just, I loved it from the start. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I was a big fan of science fiction. You know, so this is kind of right up my alley. Uh, I used to drive my dad crazy making that little sound that they would make when they would transform and stuff. Um, but, you know, uh, like I said, I had a bunch of the toys. You know, I had some of the GoBots and the little offshoot, uh, you know, wannabe Transformers as a kid as well. But Transformers were always just the coolest to me. Uh, anyway, so, you know, I, I developed a love for the cartoon uh, you know, get attached to the characters. Uh, you know, like I said, it was it was a difficult period in my life, so it was kind of a good escape from that. You know, read the comic book. Uh, you know, the comic book was very different from from the animated series. Um, you know, same character, same overall story, but you know, the comic could kind of take a little more liberty. Uh, you know, it was more Americanized versus the Japanese animation. Uh, you know, that that was just kind of brought to America. But anyway. Uh, you know, you had all your classic characters, you know, Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots, the good guys, you know, this guy right here on my shirt, uh, you know, fighting against Megatron, you know, the leader of the Decepticons, the bad guys, you know, uh, just just so many iconic characters and famous people that were voicing them at the time, you know, uh, you had Bumblebee, another one of my favorites, you had Jazz, you had Ironhide, the, uh, the old sergeant type character, you had the medic, uh, Ratchet, you know. On the Decepticon side, you had uh, Starscream, who was like the jealous second in command, always trying to take over. You had uh, Soundwave, the little guy that transformed into a boombox. He was always a real popular toy when we were kids, you know. And, I mean, they just had generations of all these toys, you know. I, I mean, year after year, they kept coming out with cooler and different ones and bigger ones and ones that would do multiple transformations and everything. But, like I said, I, I just loved it as a kid. I, I, I ate it up, you know. Uh, you know, so the cartoon was really cool. Uh, I picked that up a couple of years ago, the, the first generation, uh, you know, the box set uh, of all the episodes. I have to go back and watch them because I'm sure, you know, as a kid, I'd come home from school, do my homework, and then make sure it was done by time to watch Transformers because it was on like you know, four o'clock every day or something like that. Um, you know, so I, I, I never missed an episode. But of course, I forget over the years, you know, coming up to my mid 40s now, I can't remember stuff from that long ago. Uh, so w one day when I have time, I'm going to go back through the series and watch it again. Uh, you know, they had subsequent series after that, but I never really got into them. Uh, there was a few, uh, you know, Beast Wars or something like that. There were some animated ones that have kind of come and gone over the years, but I really stick to the original series and the original comic book series. Uh, you know, it was kind of cool back in the day. They had a crossover with G.I. Joe, uh, a little short, uh, I think it was like a four-issue comic series where Bumblebee actually gets blown up and rebuilt into this new, more... Uh, you know, uh, newer character called Goldbug, you know, but Bumblebee, like I said, was always one of my favorite characters. Um, anyway, you know, the, they had like two or three seasons. I, I think it was two or two seasons or something. And then, you know, this movie that I'm, that I'm holding here comes out. Awesome movie. But, you know, I was like nine years old when this came out. It was pretty traumatic because, you know, you got to understand these, these franchises are made to make money. You know, the, the comic book, the animated series is just a tool to sell the toys. And, you know, a lot of the older characters, they kind of had to get rid of them so that they could create all these new characters. So in the movie, like, everybody dies. Like, all the original Transformers die with the exception of Jazz and Bumblebee. Those are, like, the only two survivors on the Autobot side. Um, 
So it's kind of, you know, like I said, I'm a nine-year-old kid. I'm, like, attached to these characters. So I was kind of sad when everybody dies. But the worst was Optimus Prime. When he died, that was, like, one of the, like, defining moments of my childhood, you know, to see, like, a hero of mine just, just fall in battle. Uh, and it's just kind of funny because eventually they kept bringing him back in, like, the... Uh, you know, after the movie w was over, then they had a third, fourth, and fifth season. You know, like he he kept coming back, and he was all kind of zombified in a way. I mean, for a robot, you know, as, as close as you could be to a zombie. But um, you know, just he, it, it's funny though because you know, the GI Joe movie, the GI Joe animated series, you know, was out right about that time as well. The GI Joe animated movie came out. If I want to say maybe six months afterward, and you know, if you've seen that one. Uh, it, I'll talk about that. You know, I, I briefly touched on that in my army video, but you know, Duke, kind of the leader, well, the first sergeant, you know, of, of GI Joe, he was supposed to die in the movie, but because kids were so traumatized by the death of Optimus Prime in this one, they altered it, and it's just kind of funny if you watch it. They're like, "Oh, he fell into a coma," but like, you know, if you read the actual lips of the characters, he was supposed to have died in that. So it's just kind of a cool little tidbit of information there, but. Uh, like I said, four awesome seasons. I never saw the fifth season. The movie was great. I mean, just a really cool story. Uh, you know, had Leonard Nimoy was voicing it, uh, one of the characters. You had Orson Welles. I mean, just, just you know, Casey Kasem. Uh, um, I can't think of the British actor, the comedian. But, like, all these, you know, super awesome, well-known voices that were, you know, voicing these characters, bringing them to life and bringing their personalities to it and stuff. And then you went all these years without them. You know, uh, when I moved away, I guess my mom threw out my old toys. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I'd love to have them now. They're probably worth a fortune. Not not for the money, but just for the sentimental value. Because, you know, I, I got a lot of them from my grandparents as a kid and, and friends and whatnot. Uh, anyway, you know, uh, so, like I said, once the original series ended, you know, they had a Generation 2, Generation 3, and so on. And all these other, you know, offshoots that mostly came from Japan and were just, you know, localized. I never got into them, so for many, many years, like, Transformers was just, like, a positive memory from my youth, but I didn't really get into it. Well, then, in the early 2000s, I hear they're making a movie, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's going to be interesting to see how they're going to do that, because, you know, special effects were uh, CGI, you know, computer-generated image. Uh, you know, Terminator 2 in the late early 90s was really good, but other movies really weren't up to snuff, so to speak. Uh, so I was kind of anxious to see how they were going to do it logically. How was it going to look, you know, was it going to be stop motion? Was it going to be like computer animated? And I saw a trailer and I was like, dang, this, this looks pretty good. Um, so, you know, then I see Michael Bay is attached to it. <sighs> the king of explosions, you know, uh, style over substance, you know, all about blowing this up and blowing this up and blowing this up. Like, I'm not a big fan of his movies generally. But I really did enjoy the first Transformers movie. I loved it. Uh, it had the good balance of, like, action, comedy. I don't want to say horror, but, you know, a couple little scares here and there. Uh, you know, they had a lot of the classic characters back. But, unfortunately, they killed Jazz in the first movie, which is, like, uh, hello. That's, like, one of the guys that's supposed to last, you know. Um, but it was cool. They brought back Peter Cullen, who was the original voice of Optimus Prime. Um, they couldn't get Frank Welker... Uh, I think he was having issues with his voice. He was the original voice of Megatron. If I'm not mistaken, he played some part in it, but, you know, he wasn't, uh, I think it was Hugo Weaving, you know, from the Lord of the Rings, the elf dude that, uh, you know, or Mr. Smith from Matrix that did the, the voices there. So, um, excuse me. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm a little under the weather here. Um, but, you know, I really enjoyed the first Transformers movie. Really exceeded my expectations. For a Michael Bay movie, at least, you know. Um, the second one, I really wasn't crazy about it. I mean, I think they went a little too far off the beaten path. You know, they threw a little bit of, like, ethnic Transformers in there, which was kind of really insensitive, let's just say, and stupid. Uh, so, luckily, they, they dropped those characters for the ongoing series. Um, third one was okay. You know, then I think there's been, like, four or five now. I lost track of them. Uh, you know, they, they were all pretty decent, except for the second one. Um... I mean, I went back and watched it, and I liked it better the second time around, but, you know, I, I think the first one has, is still the best. Uh, but then Bumblebee did get his own, uh, you know, spinoff movie recently, set in the 80s, which was kind of cool, and I thought that one was pretty good. 
Uh, I don't know what the future plans are for it, if they're going to keep making Transformers movies. There hasn't been one uh, for quite some time, but, you know, they, they were pretty cool. It was cool to see them back, you know, to see my childhood heroes make a return. Um, like I said, it's just it's just a franchise I've always loved, always loved the toys. You know, it's a positive memory from, from a difficult time in my life. Uh, you know, it's it's like visiting with old friends, kind of, when I watch, you know, an old movie, uh, like if I watch this old movie or if I watch one of the old episodes, you know, I just reminisce about a, a, a better time, you know. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, you know, it's a little bit shorter than my usual videos, but, you know, I could go on and on, but I'm just basically covering the gist of, uh, you know, my, my love for the Transformers. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, you know, definitely leave a comment. Tell me if you're a fan of Transformers, something you like about them, something you don't like about them, something you like about this video, something you don't like about this video. And we will see you in the next video.